Hello everybody, and today I'll be showing you how to do the event Danger Maze. So first off, we're going to go on the easy portal, talk to Clem, and if you have been here, just say yes, and if you haven't and you want to know what the story is, say no. So we're going to go past the swords, try to stop if you have to, go for that heart over there. Then, you can collect hearts all around the map to keep you going. Then, you want to go through this bag of emeralds, and that gives you points. And then we'll go for the nether bag. Then we we'll go for the lifting staircase or platforms. What people call the different things. So then the, we're gonna try to get the emerald bag right here. And do we get it? Okay. So the water is basically like you die if you fall in. So we're gonna try not to die on the water so most people think this part's impossible to get a pass by because it's so small but it really isn't that hard really um you can just run across it and not worry so now we're going to talk to him um if you would like you can save your progress but i never do i only take the points for most of the things so now we're gonna go to the lever and we're gonna press it and now we can get that bag of emeralds over there so now we're gonna go here jump on the poles the really nice thing is if like you fall around the poles at some point um it doesn't fall for you like it, you stay up basically like you're standing on water see so now we're gonna try to get back oh jeez okay so now we're back up. So we're gonna go. And it's kind of like a cheat almost. Which is actually kind of cool. Because, well, yeah, you can basically stand that water and at some point if you fall. So now you have the sliding tiles. And you just go on it. Some people like to go um, the other way and try to get the star or the other heart and the emeralds. But. This is really supposed to be a short video, so we're just trying to get through this and show you the fastest way you can do Danger Maze. So now we're going to go talk to him and we're going to not save our progress on him because you can go over to this lever and it pulls up a bridge. So like, if you die, it's a bridge straight to Clem and back over here. So now we're going to go on this little area, we're going to jump on the ledge right here. Then don't talk to Kagan and Cloud, it's a total waste of your time and a waste of your points or whatever. And so we're gonna press him. So basically here the blocks they disappear. So you're gonna try to be fast and swift. And so just keep going. And on this part, um I always just press all the random buttons trying to get the straight bridge, which can be take a while or it can be fast. You never know. But see. So now we're gonna go talk to Raymond. And first off, you are going to want to save your progress on him because you've come a long way and you do not wanna have to keep going back and forth. And each, like the amount of points you make is the amount of points you make on the mini game event chest, which I think that's actually really cool. So anytime you talk to one of the, play the like people, in this um like the checkpoints you always am going to get um points on it and that counts as points on your event chest which is very cool so we're going to go get this heart now and just jump over the spikes and basically what we're going to do is just go straight ahead because over there straight ahead basically is um, north in the castle area, which the pro a lot of players probably know about. But so we're gonna try to jump all of this, but you do not want to do this because that takes a while. But if that ever does happen, do not wait to just keep spinning because um, if you are far enough on the spinner, you will get um, let's just say um, the wall will push you off, and so. Now we're just gonna have to wait for all this. Okay, here it is. Okay, it's back now. So we're gonna try this again. 
so here we go. Jump. Oh, that's not something you def definitely do not want to do. Uh, so we're going to go try it back. Keep trying. So that's one of the many reasons you want to save your progress at Raymond. So you don't have to travel such a long ways again. So now I can just go back and try again. So let's jump over here. Jump over this. Some people, um try to go for like try to jump on it and like get a boost but really it's kind of a waste of time because um there's like a 0.01 percent that you'll actually jump on it and not die right away so we're just going to try this again so now we have this jump over it and now it's actually very simple there's just a few things you need to know so just keep jumping on this but before you get fully over there you're gonna already talk to goodwin the panther and you're gonna have to go through the test of knowledge but you're gonna want to jump over before because the um the tile slides all the way back and you'll die because you're stuck talking to him still so you're just gonna want to keep going and jump off before you get exactly on the gravel so now you're gonna wanna go back up here and ta-da, you're at north and the gate just automatically opens and then you talk to him and then you have finished the game. Well, I hope this helps you finish the your maze and just find your way through it. But see, my chest is already level two. I leveled it up to level one in the game and then when I finished, I got level two, so bye.